Gaming, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Sonic Blue, and tonight I decided to bring in a ringer. Meet Ashley, and this is Hi. our new assistant for Cooking with Sonic Blue. Hi, Ashley. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great, and are you ready to do some cooking? I'm excited. I am excited, too, so let's get our stuff over here to the stove and see what we got today. Looks like chicken. Looks good. Does it smell like chicken? Crap. <laughs> Yep, it's That's chicken. That's chicken. It's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And today I decided to do a little barbecue chicken. Now this is Stubbs Barbecue Sauce. No better barbecue sauce in all of Texas. Remember the name, Stubbs. 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 And of course, what would a chicken dish be without Chef Paul Prudhomme's seasoning magic? I, I live by this. I stand by it. I love giving Chef Paul Prudhomme his plug. And here's the plug. Wasn't that a nice plug? Now, <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you say we start off by adding some seasoning to the chicken? And this is going to be some really good stuff. We're going to get a combination of Texas and Louisiana at the mm. same time. Get it all nice and covered with the seasonings just like that. Now, have you ever heard of Chef Paul Prudhomme before? No, I haven't. Never? No. Never been to Gnarly in Louisiana? No, I haven't. No? Whoa, it's a heck of a city. Have you? I have, and Chef Paul Prudhomme has got his kitchen down there in New Orleans, where they serve the best food. Mm, mm -mm. Smell those herbs and spices. Oh, yes. Get a close-up. Mm, that does smell good. Oh, yes. I, In fact, I make my own, too. I make well, my own mix. Show everybody that. I have, but <laughs> I'll remind everybody in case you forgot. Now, we cover our chicken with the best seasoning in the world, Chef Paul Prudhomme. <laughs> And we're going to stick it in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit and let this cook up a bit. Before we add our barbecue sauce, because we want to make sure that seasoning is nice and stuck on there as good as best as possible. And always remember, aluminum foil is your friend. Yes. <laughs> when you're done, you just wrap it up and throw it away. Throw it away. Yes. How many times have you said, thank goodness for aluminum foil? Every time I cook. Every time. Wow. <laughs> well, while we are uh, waiting for the chicken to cook up, and we got some time to kill because it's a very simple recipe, and I decided to throw something quick together that we haven't yet cooked on the show, especially to introduce the new assistant. I hope everybody welcomes her with open arms and a bunch of ray of sunshine and glee. Do you know glee? <laughs> yes. Glee! <laughs> well, uh, let's get started uh, with a little bit of interview. So tell me something. Uh, uh, you got a lot of experience in the kitchen cooking? Yes. Um, my my grandparents are from Italy, and my oh. that's my mom's side, and my dad's side's all from the south. So, and best of both worlds. Italy and southern. Yes. Would you believe I did a Mexican lasagna? Oh, I want to see it. <laughs> and we will make it very soon. As a matter of fact, I got the ingredients right here, and you remember my taco lasagna. And uh, so let's see, so you got any special dishes that you have? Honestly, I, I love making Italian food. Love, love making Italian homemade food. raviolis, stuffed, oh, stuffed shells. We'll have to have you do a stuffed ravioli because that's yes. something I have not yet done. Oh, it's so good. So good. I, I cannot wait. What do you usually stuff it with? Veal. Wow. Yep. Veal. It's very traditional in Italian families to use ground veal. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Especially the milk fed veal. Yes. It's nothing better Great. in the world. Excellent. Well, so you got stuffed ravioli. We're going to keep that on the agenda. You, you make all the noodles yourself? Or yep. You, really? I'll, I'll call Grandma and get the recipe. How do you I make the noodles? I mean, but just a lot of, you know, ground them like, like you would bread. Yeah. You roll them out and then we actually and have a press, a ravioli press. press oh, you have there. one of those? Yep, press it in there and then oh, put them together. And how, how big do the raviolis get? You can make them as big as you want. Really? Uh, we stick with the traditional. That's Square. That's all. Yep. Like Chef Boyardee over yep. stuff or, you know, about that size. Yep. Not bad, not bad. Well, we're definitely going to have to look forward to I that recipe. Wait. I, I, can't, I wait. can't wait either. <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, what else? Other questions, other questions. Um, well, uh, what do you think about the Opa Pit Show so far? I love it. Love it. Um, oh. I, the second I watched it, Oh, love. <laughs> love it. Have, yeah. I think we're, I, we've almost watched all the episodes. It's a nightly tradition for the oh, two of us. Heck yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Gotta watch those videos. Yeah. Let's see. So uh, now, now describe <coughs> yourself as a personality. What kind of personality do you have? Honestly, I'm just fun, upbeat, bubbly. 
always kind of I'm a big, 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 big adrenaline junkie. Love that kind of stuff. Then this will be perfect for yes. you because we have lots of adrenaline and lots of good food yes. and lots of great spirits. That's, that's, that's right up my alley. And I like to eat. We all love to eat. <laughs> hey, you gotta eat, right? We love to cook, love to eat. So. Alrighty then. <laughs> and do you have any idea what we're doing here? Um, it looks like you are boiling some milk and butter. Exactly, because we are going to prepare our shells and cheese. Sounds good. There's the cheese. Now, I don't know about you, but I like fresh cheese. I don't believe cheese comes from an envelope, but if you got something that you want to throw together, this very is quick. the way to go. This yep. is very quick, very easy, but I prefer to use actual cheese like mozzarella and parmigiana, mm. you know, all that good stuff. Yes. And, you know, I might actually, no, I don't have any Parmigiana. <clears throat> I wish I did, because mm. that would go great over the top of it. Oh, it would be good. Oh, yeah. But well, we're kind of doing the Rachel Ray 30-minute kind of meal right now. So. That's right, the Rachel Ray 30-minute <laughs> yep. meal. We got it. And uh, I noticed that you're a big fan of music, too. What kind of music do you like? I listen to everything. Everything? Everything from, you know, from your from early 50s to, you oldies. know, contemporary rock to good old bluegrass. I, I don't have a genre. I listen to everything. If I feel it, I got it. Nice. So you'll be definitely be singing yep. and cooking right <laughs> yes. along with the best of them. Yes. <laughs> That's what we like to see. And, you know, pardon with me guys tonight. I am a little bit nervous. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. So well, after you do this for me. a while, it'll get easier okay. and easier, and you'll be looking forward to yep. doing this. And this is my first time in front of the camera, so I hope I'm doing it. Is it really? Job. Yes, I've I never think done this. You're doing this. excellent. You're doing excellent. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, well, uh, we got the chicken in the oven, and this is boiling up nicely. I'm going to turn this down low so it doesn't overboil, because the last thing in the world you want is for your milk to bubble over, because that is very easily done. Yes. Calcium especially. Um, how long is it that we're keeping the chicken in? We're going to keep that in there for about 20 minutes, maybe okay. 25, get it a nice golden brown on the top, and then we can add our sauce to it and have... And the way I like to do it is I like to take these into different layers. And the first time I do it, I, I cover the whole thing top and bottom, yes. put it back in, bake it for another five to ten minutes, and then pull it out, see if it's gotten uh, crispy. And then if it has, add more sauce. That's and then bake great. it more. And then third time, I add more sauce, but I let the heat from the, kitchen, the, the chicken uh, sort of cook the rest of the way. We are going to learn so much from each other because that's where I'm messing up because I don't ever really? have that thick, that, that thick, Really no. vibrant, yes. barbecue. Mine just always runny. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, I've oh. never done it that way. So see, it is excellent. This is what you learn. Yeah, and this is a good way to uh, get that sort of grill type yes. of feeling in your oven. Yes, yeah. that is perfect. Something to learn. Keep that in mind, guys. Keep it in mind. And speaking of grills, George Foreman Grill. Yes, yes. we have our indoor grill. Yep. So in case it rains outside and we don't have our grill ready and we don't have any charcoal, we'll just fire up the George Foreman and hope that it does the job good. Yes. <laughs> As a matter of fact, too, we also like to take some of the products that are seen on TV and actually give them a test run. And the one that we have yet to do is right up here. Uh, it's called Rolly. What is that? It is an egg maker and you uh, crack an egg in there and then you plug mm -hmm. it in and then you wait and then when this turns green, the egg rises up and you just pull it out and eat it. That it's is like a long awesome. tube. Yeah, so I have yet to try this out, but we're going to have Consumer Fox help out with the uh, consumer report yes. to see how well this works. Yes. And you can make several recipes. They came with a book and everything. And there are so many things you can do with that. And it's like the Rolly Diet or the Rolly Cookbook. And I can't quite remember where, but I think it's up there. But uh, we'll have to break it out and follow some directions, see how good. it works. Yes, yeah. that'll be fun. Yep. And I think it came with uh, some accessories. Like there's a brush to clean it with. Look at this brush. Isn't that cute? <laughs> yes, it's got like a little, little bottle uh, cleaner. It does, doesn't it? That is cute. Yeah, and uh, got one of these here too, so that in case you put too much in there, you, know, you can kind of tap oh, it down with that. That is so cool. I'm excited to try that. I am too, and I have not yet gotten the chance to try it yet, but we will have to break it out sometime soon and yes. see how well it works. Um, yes. But uh, for now, I feel that uh, we could probably take five. Uh, and uh, then check up on our chicken. Not choking on our chicken because <laughs> you don't want to choke on chicken because that, that, that gets lodged in the throat easily, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, well, I honestly can say that you can never be too bubbly in the kitchen. And that's no. why we love your personality. It's yes. just perfect for this kitchen. We love it. Hey, come on over here. And we love the personality. We love the, uh, the attitude, the Thank happiness. You. The bright smiles. I'm pretty sure everybody wants her to stay. And uh, everybody in channel. So. Everybody in channel, what is your, what is your opinion? Let me know, let me know. Yes, please, send in your opinions, let us know, because we would love to have her come and help us do more cooking with Sonic Blue, and we'd love yes. to have you watch us. So. 
<laughs> we enjoy your feedback. Let us know. Yes, and feed us back too because we're hungry. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that was great! <laughs> All right, so, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Yep, and we'll see you when we're getting ready to pull our chicken out. We'll show you what it looks like when it gets ready for saucing. All right. All right, well, we'll see you. See you then. We'll be back. Ta da! Ooh, Ooh, looking good. good. All right, and this is our shells and white cheddar. And now we're going to do our first saucing of the chicken. So I'm just going to reach in right here and wait a minute. Ooh, that's hot. What am I forgetting here? Ah, I know. I'm forgetting the most important thing of all, oven mitts. You cannot reach into an oven without oven mitts. Safety first. That's right. So, are you ready for your little kitchen magic? Show me. Okay, well the magic words are Abra, Kadabra, or you can make them up as you go along, all but right. if you believe, then it'll happen. All so, right. All right, ready? Abra. Abra. Kadabra. There we go, kitchen magic. Oh, Unbelievable, Cindy. isn't it? <laughs> Feel the magic. Feel the magic. All right, now let's reach in, check on our chicken. Whoa, that, that cooked up fast. Oh, yes, it does. And look, look, see the seasoning is nice and baked in there. You see that? That does look so good. Oh, yes. Now, first things first, we're going to eliminate this juice. Oh, so, my. we're going to take it over here to the sink. We're going to pour out the juice, being careful not to pour out the chicken. <laughs> And there you go. And when you see the chicken start to slide, try to get as much of that juice out of there without losing your chicken. A little juice is fine. Now, safety measure, let's close this up while we do our saucing. And we take these off and we reach for our Stubbs barbecue sauce. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he's the cook. <laughs> All right, now, first things first. What I like to do is I like to get a generous amount of the sauce and oh, then just right on to the chicken there, right? That like that. That smells so good. Yeah, oh well, yeah, it sure does. And this stub stuff is very thin. It's not as thick as most barbecue sauces, as you can see. It's very thin. So, uh, there you go, there's that. Try to get it all over, and then we're gonna flip them over and do the back sides of them. Whoa, see, told you it was thin. Yep. Look at that. So just kind of take your brush and spread it all over like that. And if your sauce run is over, that's fine too. But you know what they say in the kitchen, waste not, want not. Yes. <laughs> All right. A little more dab there, because this is, this is, this, this chicken, this particular chicken here is much deserving of as much saucing as possible. We love saucy chicken. Yes. How do you like sauce? You like your sauce saucy? Yes. I love saucy. I'm loving the smell of this sauce. You can, oh, the second you oh, opened yes. it, you could just smell all the spices and stuff to that. It smells delicious. And you know what that means? It's going to be good. And they're going to be nice and juicy on the bottoms. And then when we're done on the bottoms, we're going to flip them back over and see if the uh, tops of them still need to be sauced. So, there we go. Now, set this fork aside and reach for more stubs. And here we go. Do the same thing as we did before. Get it into those crevices too, because that's you definitely want to get this as yes, sauced up as possible. Oh yes, really oh yes, yes it will. Look at that. And this is going to be some good chicken. I bet you're looking forward to this, huh? Yes. Oh, I am too. All right. Now, then take flip the same fork and flip them back over. Now you can do it like, like this, nice and gentle. And look, the sauce stays. Yes. It's going to oh. be great. Now. What do you say we put these guys back into the oven cooking for another five minutes? I'm going to set that there. And since this has been it's out, cooled it's cooled down a bit. Yeah. So we're going to pop this back in the oven and we're going to let it cook for another five minutes and we're going to check on it. And if it's hardened or if it's got become crunchier, that's what we want. And then we can sauce it again for a second coat. And then after that, before we pull it out, we're going to sauce it again with the third coat. Only this time we're going to let the heat from the chicken cook the rest of the way. And we're going to let it sit out for about five to eight minutes. All right. And so like we'll see you when we get back and let All me turn right. this off because you are pretty much done. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. That looks good. So we're just going to let the hot burner kind of just keep it warm. Yep, just kind of simmer that. Yep, and we'll be eating chicken before you know it. Are yes, you getting excited? I'm excited. I am too. Can't so, wait to try this. I wish you guys could smell the kitchen. It yes. smells great. Oh, it smells awesome. It smells awesome. Oh, yes, it does. So we'll be joining you in about another 10 minutes, maybe eight, five to eight minutes, about give or take five to eight yep. minutes. And we'll check on that chicken and see if it's ready for saucing number two. And we'll see you when that time comes. All right.
All right, we'll be back. This time, I remembered my oven mitts. Yay, <laughs> safety. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you say we open up the oven and see how far along we are in the chicken? Dun 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 Oh wow. Look at this. And just that is in a gorgeous an instant. Place. Look at that glaze. And look at all that juice that uh, came about too. Now we're gonna once again yep. go over to the sink and eliminate the juice. Now remember the juice would be good for basting your chicken in, but we're using barbecue sauce and we want as little of juice as possible. Yep. So that way you have as much Ooh. barbecue sauce as possible. And that should be good. A little bit of juice is fine. So, like before, close her up. And let's go with glazing number two. And we're gonna do the same thing, but just to the tops of them because the bottoms are already sauced. Mm, and look we're gonna. At that. The second one, the second basting, is gonna be very light dabs. Okay. Just like that. Just like that. You wanna get them nice and saucy. Don't wanna be too chintzy on the sauce either. So. If you have an entire bottle of sauce, use it to your advantage. Okay. And that is good and saucy right there. And this is the second saucing. And we're just gonna slather it on as thick as possible. And look at the way that just and clings. And that's how you get that thick, the thickness yes. to it. Yes, And then when you bake this some more, it's gonna caramelize and you're gonna get nice and crispy. And then with the third and final saucing, we're gonna rely on the heat from the chicken to keep it warm. And then we're gonna let it sit for about five minutes before we serve it. All right. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop it in the oven and cook it for, you guessed it, another five to eight minutes. All right. So what we're gonna do, I'll go ahead and grab this, and if you wanna grab the door for me, and I can slide it in. And folks, remember, be very careful when putting your food in a hot oven. You don't wanna to touch the contacts, and you don't wanna to touch the grill. You don't want to touch the rack of the oven too because that's very very hot mm -hmm. but in case you do touch it always remember aloe fixes burns so have <laughs> plenty of it on hand and i have some actually it's in the bathroom but uh i have plenty of aloe on hand in case i accidentally burn myself and once you do feel that ow run and get your aloe as soon as possible because that prevents the uh the, the, the scarring now everyone always when they get burned in the kitchen they immediately go towards the cold water is that not a good idea uh, no, okay. no, it isn't. Uh, water, yeah, but I mean, yeah, it's it's okay to soothe the burn, but it's not going to fix the burn. So always keep aloe. It's soothing, and it also okay. it also uh, not only does that, but it also disinfects the wound. All right, and it also good. prevents scarring. Yes. So, yeah. I have plenty first, of it. I'm loving the safety. I'm oh yes. It. Oh yes. And I've burned myself many a time, and so I've had I. <laughs> I've had my aloe right ready to go. I've, I've even done that on camera too before. I've always been the mistake. I'm always the, the one that's running screaming, oh no, no, running over the cold water and it just always makes it worse. Yeah, it always does. Always makes it, it worse. It does. Yeah. I mean, it might be, it might feel okay, but it's not going to cure yep. it. No. no. So use aloe. It is your best friend in the kitchen. Okay. And you can find it in your local grocery stores. You can find a nice, either green or blue liquidy stuff. Or if you have an aloe plant, that's even what? better. Let's give a quick look to our chicken and see. Now see how look saucy that. that is? It's staying there because you know why? We've eliminated a lot of the juices that come out of the chicken. Yes. And now you're left with a very thick sauce. Yes, it's having a great glaze on that. It looks delicious. See, one of the secrets of the kitchen is that if it's a little bit too runny, you just eliminate whatever is runny to make something else thicker. The sauce, for example. Now the sauce is very runny. But uh, that's the way they make the sauce, it's traditional in Texas for Stubbs especially because he makes the sauces very runny. But it will actually, if done right, can be turning into a thick, saucy, yeah, and it just clings to the chicken. Mm -hmm. It now, does, there's a way it's it is. wonderful sauce. And it's staying there too, and that's the mm -hmm. beauty part about this, this barbecue sauce. Yes, it's very deceiving. This is great. I've never used it before, never even heard of it until now. but. I'm now that you've heard about it, and besides this, thing. yeah, and you know what is the best part of all? You're actually going to be able to taste it too. I know. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to see what your reaction is going to be. I can't wait. Too. Well, the way it smells, I just wish that the viewers could smell this because it smells so. Smell, smell, oh, it does. smell. Smell, 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 yeah, don't you wish you had smell-o-vision now? <laughs> We're gonna put up a, uh, a small image, and what you do is you take your fingernail, yeah, and you scratch, scratch and it, sniff. and then sniff the monitor, <laughs> and you will smell exactly what we got going on And we on right wanna now. see how many of viewers do this. <laughs> yes, so here comes the image. Now, are you ready for it? It's right here. 
Everybody scratching? Now sniff. <sighs> okay, now away with the image. And great. Now we're back. All right. Well, uh, this is going to be in here for how long? Uh, how long would you say? About two or three minutes? Yep. About, about three, three minutes. minutes. Not yep. three minutes. Yeah, we'll say three minutes. So uh, in about two more minutes, maybe three more minutes, uh, we're going to take another look at our sauce and see if it, it actually does need a third saucing. But you can always add more sauce if you want the sauce. Yep. Or if it's just enough, then you know what your taste buds like. You know what your palate can allow. So. Uh, and then we have a very marvelous dessert tonight too, and it's just something that we that uh, you guys picked up really quick for, uh, at Kroger. Now, what, what is the uh, dessert? They that you are um, caramel apple blossoms. Can I show? Yeah, Let, go ahead. Let's show people. Okay, uh, they are in here. Yeah, so something quick and easy for tonight. I think that we should try to make these homemade one time yeah. though. Oh yes, I definitely. I think that would be great. Caramel apple blossoms, and they're uh, made by Kroger here. Mm -hmm. uh, Flower-shaped pastry with caramel apple pie filling. Now this looks very good. And I'm eager to try this for dessert tonight. And even if we have to like split it up in half and mm -hmm. pass it out to everybody here, yep. because we got a big household now. Yes. We got, we're back up to a full house. So everybody's gonna wanna partake of this. Yeah. So what we're probably gonna do is divide it in half and then split it amongst everybody so that everybody can get a taste of this good dessert. And we're gonna put this back in here so it stays frozen. Let's say we take, I, yes. I can't stop looking I at know, this. I know, because it looks so good. <laughs> Oh, that does look wow. Amazing. Oh, and it's still there. It's still nice and thick. See how it's hardening up over mm -hmm. there? That one especially. That one that's over where, the end. That's where I'm always messing up. Oh. I'm not draining. Really? So, that's where I mess there you up. Go. So, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Get out, get that logo out of here. All right. <laughs> uh, what are your favorite parts of the chicken? Do you like uh, the legs, the wings, the thigh? I'm boneless breast. Boneless breast. Let's yeah. take a look. All right. Oh, I see. I that's think, ready. Yep, that's that what I was ready. about to say. So, instead of camera magic, I'm just going to reach for them this time. Because <laughs> they're right over there this time. Now, one glove. Or one oven mitt. Two oven mitts. Ah, 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 ah. Here I am go. the count. Here we go. Oh, that be... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just got a good that whiff. That does smell amazing. Ooh. And look. Now you're starting to get a nice yes. crispiness right on the top of there. And all we really need to do now is turn this off and we're going to rely on the heat from the chicken if you really like your sauce and this is the best way to go right here now since we're on our third and final saucing what we're going to do is just we're going to just not even brush it we're just going to tap it all right very lightly with the brush we're just going to tap it off because you don't really want to brush after you've gotten your second layer because doing so may interrupt your or disrupt the uh, structure of what you've built so far mm -hmm. and just very carefully, just kind of do like that. Try not to remove any any of the second layer there. I am amazed at how simple it was to get the glaze. Oh yeah. That is where I've always, that's what I've been missing. And this is pretty much how you can save your future barbecue chicken recipes. Yes. <laughs> and it will make a world of difference. And look at that. And we just take it over the top there, a little bit there and more on this one and we're just going to kind of lightly tap it and then use more sauce over on the side there let it run right over just kind of let gravity do the work as well and just let it run right see how it's just running right over yes just let gravity do the work just like that and then you take it onto the brush and you know that if you pour it directly onto the brush that you are not letting too much go to waste, and you're you're able to distribute it onto the chicken a lot better that way. And that there you have it. So good. And we even have some left over. Yeah. Amazing. I but know well, that is actually amazing. With yeah. as good as it was, you wouldn't have thought that it would have actually gone as as exactly. far as it did. Oh, oh, I got a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. And if you think that stuff is good out of the jar, wait till you try it on the chicken. Oh. I know what I'm missing. Plates. <clears throat> yes. What do you say we do some kitchen magic and make two plates appear? All right. All right. Are you ready? Are you no, you're right over here. Okay. Right okay. <laughs> Concentrate on this area. All right. All right. Concentrate. This okay. area is going to have a plate. So, recite in unison with me as we go. Abracadabra, alakazam, give me a plate as fast as you can. See, isn't that amazing? You did it, you did it, you concentrated. My first time. You did it, and not only that, 
I think I see two plates. <gasps> we did need two plates. You reminded me, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> now see, it always helps to have an assistant because she'll help you remember things. So yes, we did need two plates. I only said one, but she said two, and she knows. So what do you say we go ahead and start by serving this up because this needs to be served as soon as possible. Now, which piece would you like first? I'm thinking I want this one. This one here? Alrighty. Yep. All right. All right. And you're just starting off with one, or do yep. you still want to? Nope. I think we're just one. To... Okay. Yep. Here's a fork. Thank you very much. And I will take my fork. 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 Come here, fork. Found a fork. <laughs> and I will take that one because I'm the cook. <laughs> cook always gets the big one. And eh, give me this one too. I'll take two. I haven't eaten anything and I'm sure gonna enjoy yep. this. Well, I want right. Ashley to taste this first. Yes, I do. Okay, do I need so a knife or do you think it's just gonna come right off? It should come right off, All but right. let's try this. The best way to eat barbecue sauce and is just pick it right up and go, get messy. There you go. <laughs> let's so, go and just dig right in. Dig right in and here we go. I'm excited. And here comes oh, that sauce. Bite number one. <laughs> Like that it? is actually she likes probably it. the best barbecue chicken. She likes it and she agrees. The best barbecue chicken made by Stubbs. Isn't that amazing? Oh, that is. I'm loving the mm. taste. Stubbs, you make one mm -hmm. damn good sauce and very tangy too. Yes, I know. You can feel it right here in the yeah, back of your tongue. Yeah, it does kind of gives you a little kick. Oh, it sure does. A little does. bit of a kick, but not too much. Oh, yeah. I'm loving it. Mmm. That's mm. really good. You know, you wish you had this. Mm. <laughs> that is very tangy. I like it. Remember our recipe and try it at home. Yes. You'll be impressed. And uh, would you say that uh, anybody who has the chicken will be very impressed? It is amazing. Would you um, think that somebody's mother would be impressed? Yes. If you can make this, impress your mother, yes. impress your family, impress your friends, and impress yourself. And don't forget draining. That, that's where I was going wrong. That's where you get your clay. Yes, drain your juices too so that you're thick. Barbecue sauce will come out just like that, and isn't that amazing? <laughs> so, from all of us out here, to all of you out there, happy eating, and if you're not cooking good, you're not eating good. No. See you next time. Bye, guys. Um, and uh, let's see. Um, other questions, too. I'm usually really good at this, but <laughs> I'm usually... Um, all right. Let's see. What is the magic word again? Uh, you know what that means, too? It's beginning to smell a lot like Texas. Yes! <laughs> oh. All around the kitchen. <laughs> it's a little bit of sauce. And a lot of spices. <laughs> to make your southwestern meal sing. <laughs> we also have some stuffed ravioli that I we're looking forward wait. to. Oh, I really can't I'm wait for this because now that. ever since you mention it, I'm really wanting to try this. We're going to do that. How many people have you cooked that for? I come from a large Italian family. Yeah. We have cooked that for 50 plus. <laughs> really? Yes. I, that's at once? That's me. Yes. All I at once? I'm not very well at making just the two person meals. Really? I'm, I'm used to the whole shebang being out there in the living room, waiting at the dinner table. Oh, so yeah, yeah. It's gonna have, that's something that you're going to have to help me with. And we the giant meatballs for the spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'm used to just cooking for an army. So. Oh, that's great. That's what we need around here, too, because we yeah, got a lot of armies a lot to of fill. Us here. <laughs> Some people eat like three or four. Yes. <laughs> I do, and I, I i don't know, I guess it's my metabolism, but you know, I mean, I'm not like bulging out like this. No. I hope I never get that way either. No. Uh, well, always, I don't know. Me here at the kitchen, you never know. You never know, but you know, there are substitutions you can make. Like yes. instead of red meat, you can go poultry, and yes. uh, you can drain off all the fat possible, so that way you're eating lean, but you're still eating a lot of good mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, when with the veal that we're going to use for the ravioli, it's not that fattening. It's real good for you. Oh, yes, yes. Veal usually is very good for you. Mm -hmm. But also very expensive too. If you can afford yes. it, it's almost like lamb, and no better meat in the world to use for shepherd's pie than lamb. Oh, I've never had that. You've never had shepherd's no. pie. We're gonna have to fix Another that, folks. Thing. Yes. We are going to fix that because how would you like to participate in not only tasting it but also seeing how it's made? I would love that. I and would love that. We have plenty of potatoes. Okay. And I, we could probably get some mixed vegetables, and all we need is the ground lamb. All right. And all we can right. do it up. Looks like we're we're progress. We're in progress. We're coming up with new ones. 
That Definitely. sounds good. So, from all of us here at the kitchen of Cooking with Sonic Blue, to all of you out there, may all of your meals come out just as good as these. And, and boy, remember, from scratch and sniff. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm forgetting one, one very important detail. The tasting. <gasps> We can't do the sign off without the tasting no. first. And remember, if it don't get all over the place, it don't belong in no. your Hey! <laughs> in your face! It's starting to <laughs> fall back down to the plate. It doesn't want to be eaten either. That <laughs> is great. I can't get it! <laughs> I'm on my second bite. Well, you see, well. I got a little frog in my throat. <laughs> and barbecue uh, sauce on your face. It's all over the place. It belongs in my face. Mm. I'm trying to get a good... Like a, I lick my fingers clean. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make a good impression, but look at that. Mm. It's just getting everywhere. Mm. Water. <laughs> ah, there we go. So, from all of us here... That was the refrigerator that time. I didn't do it. <laughs> Blooper number three? Okay. So, from all of us here at Cooking with Sonic Blue to all of you. Whoa, whoa, too close, too close, too close. What are you doing, huh? From all. <laughs> oh, man. I think the camera wanted to eat. Poor <laughs> from, Tyler. From, <laughs> um, 